What is up, guys? Thank you so much for checking out another video. I really appreciate that. Make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you want more videos on bullion, gold, silver, coin reviews, anything based on precious metals, make sure you subscribe and definitely hit that notification bell down on the right hand side so you know when I post new videos. So today we're actually gonna be taking a look at the newest release from Kumsko Mint, which is the mint out of South Korea that has gained a lot of popularity, especially over the last three years. Um, this is a nice release. It's the first release of a new series that they're doing. And we're gonna take a look at it. I'm gonna give you my two cents. And by the way, look at this. Got some cotton gloves. Already got a coffee stain. That's why I can't have nice things. Two days. And somehow, no idea how, I got a coffee stain on them. So anyways, here is the coin, or the medallion, I should say. It does not carry any sort of denomination. And really, really nice release here. This is the first in the series, like I said. They have an open-end mintage, which means they have not announced how many are being minted. Now, my personal opinion and my thoughts on this um, you know, what I think is going on. I think Kumsko is releasing a somewhat affordable piece of silver. If you guys are familiar with other releases from Kumsko, they are premium silver, very high end silver. And if you compare the release price on this to the other releases, like from the Chi Wu, Chian Wang, the South Korean Tiger series, uh, this was released under $30, whereas the other ones have been in the 30s. So this was actually in the low 20s, believe it or not. So um, the fact with that, plus the open-end mintage, which means they don't have an intention of actually making a, a low mintage, means that I feel like this is going to be a almost like a generic offering from Kumsko Mint. They basically want people to buy multiples of these and stack them instead of just buying, you know, splurging and buying one Chi Wu Chian Wang for 30 $32, you know, most people, most silver stackers are not going to buy a ton of silver rounds or silver coins for 30 something dollars. They're going to splurge by one or two. So I think that is the focus on this and they probably won't announce the mintage um, for another year or two. So we probably won't know exactly how many um, were minted, but these, I don't think these are going to be very collectible. I think these are more for the stacker. Um, they do have a little bit of a premium that is actually competitive with the Eagle right now and the Maple. So um, these are definitely within stacking range where you could buy, you know, a roll of these or something. So, and, you know, it's really nice. They got the built-in security feature right there and they've changed it a little bit. For one thing, it is on um, a different spot. <laughs> so it's down here. Usually it was right around here or here or somewhere. They've changed the shape of it. And if you're familiar, the old ones would say 999 at one angle and then say AG at another. And now, as you can see, it's got two separate Korean symbols, which is still gonna be very hard to replicate. But um, I'm not sure exactly what those symbols mean. So if you know, put that down in the comments. So this is the coin, the medallion, I should say. Um, one of the first things I noticed is that they finally fixed the relief on these. They got a nice strike on these Phoenix. And hopefully that continues throughout this series. This is going to be an ongoing thing, the way they're uh, promoting it. So, But look at that. See that angle right there? That is something that Kumsko has missed on the Chi Wu Chian Wang series and some of the other releases that they've done. It's just a really... They've had like a really low lying relief and it seems like now they got a nice uh, detailed high relief on these and you can see the difference in the feathers and uh, the details. You can really, really notice that they fixed that that issue with this. So they got a good die and a good strike on these right here, um, which is strange because one of the most detailed coins, my favorite coin is the 10 ounce South Korean Tiger. If you see that coin, I did a video on it. If you check that video out, that coin is absolutely gorgeous and the details are everywhere, amazing. So the mint is very well capable of producing 
heavily detailed coins uh, with a nice relief. So they finally did that with these. So here on the obverse, we got uh, Republic of Korea. We got the two phoenixes facing each other. This is probably going to be the the same obverse uh, throughout the series, I want to say. I think this, the reverse, is what is going to be changing. I could be wrong. Who knows what they're going to do, but that's what I think. Then we got Kumsko, one ounce fine silver right there. And if you notice, the background is not frosted and obviously not proof either. It's like a blurred background, which is actually kind of nice looking. Um, I wish they would have got more of a shine to the actual parts that are, um, you know, struck. That would have been cool going, going against that, uh, like a matte finish background. But you can see how the background is distorted. You see my camera? It's distorted. So, and then on the edges, they got the proof finish, basically. Nice shine and flat surface. So no read, no readed edges on this. Just a flat, um, generic uh, edge. And another thing is these are 40 millimeters. So they're pretty big. If you didn't know, the American Silver Eagle is 40.6 millimeters. So it's a little bit smaller than uh, an eagle. But it's still pretty big. I, I noticed that right away when I opened it, uh, that the diameter is big. So here's a comparison in size. So a nice size diameter and a little bit of chunk to it too. It's not a thinned out coin. So, but uh, here it is. So like I said, I don't think these are going to have as much of the collecting aspect as the other releases like the South Korean Tiger series or the Chi Wu Chiang Wang or any of the other Kumsko releases. This is, like I said, I think this is gonna be tailored to the silver stacker that wants a little bit of variety. That's what I think, that's my personal opinion. But I love that they're continuing with the security feature. I love that any silver that can be verified on the spot, I love that. So um, that's nice that they did that. And um, like I said, the price point is really not that bad. This is the first of the series, so I would definitely suggest at least getting a couple of the first in the series. I always suggest getting at least the first and maybe the second, sometimes the second in the series, also appreciates really well, as we've seen with the Royal Fortune from the Black Flag series. So, but anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Really nice coin, I like it a lot. And I'm actually really excited to see what else they come up with, because uh, with the Phoenix being the main theme, they could do a lot, they could really do a lot of amazing designs so but yeah the the mintage is open-ended so we'll have to see it's really going to come down to that but i just i really feel like this is going to be upwards in the hundred thousand mintage that's just my opinion i really think it's going to be uh pretty high so it could even be more than that who knows so but anyways let me know what you think down in the comments and uh make sure to like the video if you liked it thank you guys so much and i will talk to you guys Later.